This week is the anniversary of a fascinating little engagement from the American War of Independence, the Battle of Hobkirk's Hill. Yeah, it's fairly obscure. Fought late in the war, uh, right outside Camden, South Carolina. British General Sir Henry Clinton later said of Hobkirk's Hill, this was perhaps the most important victory of the whole war. Yeah, Josh, I'm not sure that I agree with Clinton's assessment there, but this is a great battle for war gamers for a few reasons. First and foremost, it's small. The combined forces here are under 2,500 men in total. So if you're new to the period or you don't have a huge collection of miniatures, this is a very attainable battle that you can play without a lot of figures. The size alone makes it a perfect introductory game. Yeah, and it's, it's also very tactically interesting because although the British were outnumbered quite significantly, they made a bold attack through a swamp. Except the Americans were not caught by surprise. Nathaniel Green's pickets detected the attack and Green had a bold plan of his own. The historical result of this battle is extremely bloody by Revolutionary War standards. Yeah, in less than one hour, both sides took 20% casualties. And this is a perfect battle for war gamers for another reason, Greg. It's free. We're giving you guys this scenario for free. Today, Greg and I are refighting the battle at the club using Live, Free, or Die, a fantastic four-page rule set for the period. You can grab a copy on our website for just 13 bucks, and we donate half the proceeds to the American Battlefield Trust. We have other free scenarios on our website, including Princeton and Second Saratoga. But today, we're also adding the Battle of Hobkirk's Hill, which you can download as a free PDF. It's the perfect introductory battle to learn the rules with just a handful of regiments per side on a 4x4 tabletop like this. The scenario also has a really neat twist that allows for the possibility of nearby British reinforcements to arrive. And historically, that doesn't happen in 1781, thanks to one Francis Marion, the Swamp Fox. You mean Mel Gibson? No, 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 Greg. We're, we're, we're going to keep this historical for this game. Speaking of our scenario, if you want to see Josh and I play Hobkirk's Hill right now, hop over to our Patreon page for an exclusive video report. We'll talk about the historical context, and you'll get to see us play the war game. And not just a 10 minute edited recap, this time Josh and I are going to give you the entire game, the full playthrough. It'll be like you pulled up a chair and are joining us right here in the club. You'll see every move, every die roll, and all of the uh, witty tableside banter. Yeah, what about swearing and the off color jokes? Uh to celebrate the anniversary of the battle, we're unlocking this Patreon post for everyone. So even if you're not a patron of Little Wars TV yet, you can still watch the battle. It's available right now at patreon.com backslash Little Wars TV. Either way, we do hope that you'll go to our website and grab a free copy of this scenario so that you can play with your friends at home. There will be links in the description below. Are you ready for a royal ass kicking? <laughs> you know, a proper English gentleman would offer his opponents a scotch before the ass kicking. <laughs>